Hey guys, it's Kateri here. If you are new here, hello and welcome to my channel. You should totally hit that subscribe button down below to be notified when I upload videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And if you aren't new here, welcome back. It's great to see you. Since it is back to school season, all the children are going back off to school, I thought I'd give you guys some back to school advice. And you're probably thinking, Katera, why would I want to take back to school advice from someone who dropped out of high school? What just happened to my voice? Oh my gosh. Let's try that again. And you're probably wondering, Katera, why would I want to take back to school advice from someone who dropped out of high school? And to that I say that is a great question. Um, we won't talk about it. Even though I am not in school anymore, I went to school for most of my life. So I know a little bit about school and I know a thing or two about stuff. But I still have a few tips and a little bit of advice for those of you who are in school right now. So let's get right into the video. My first piece of advice for going back to school is get school supplies that are cute or school supplies that you really like that are colorful and just make you feel good. Maybe it's just me but having like school supplies that are like cute and colorful and they just look really cute, I don't know, it just makes me feel more productive and it makes me want to write in them more, especially like notebooks and folders and binders. It just makes me want to write in it all the time and that's definitely a good thing when you're in school. The schools that I went to always provided us with planners. They gave us a planner at the beginning of the year or when we registered to go to school. And if your school doesn't have that, I highly, highly, highly suggest investing in an agenda or a planner or something like that because you can just write everything down and it's just a way to be way more organized than if you didn't have one. And I just think they're really helpful. Now this is something that I know that we're all guilty of. I was guilty of it and I know a lot of you probably are guilty of it as well. But don't procrastinate. Oh my gosh. If there's one thing, one problem that I had in school, it's procrastination. I am a huge procrastinator. I just wait till the very end, you know, till the very last minute to get things done. and. Just it's just not a good thing to do, it's not a good habit to get into. And my advice for that, for procrastination, is just to take some time, just a little bit of time out of every day to get just a little bit of it done. You know, just a, a while before it's actually due and by the time it is due, you'll already be done and you'll feel great that it is done and you got it in on time. Eat breakfast. They say it's the most important meal of the day for a reason and that is something that I wish I could go back and change when I was in school because I never ate breakfast. I very rarely ate breakfast before going to school and I look back on it now and it was such a bad thing to do because for one, when I did eat breakfast, I just felt like more productive. I had more energy and I was just ready to get through the day. And when I didn't eat breakfast, I was just tired and sluggish and uh, and I just wanted to go back to sleep and it was just a bad day when I didn't eat breakfast. So most of my days were bad because I never really ate breakfast, but definitely eat breakfast. And also another thing, why you should eat breakfast before going to school is when your stomach growls and it's quiet in class, that is like literally one of the most embarrassing things that could ever happen to you, especially when your stomach growls like really loud. Yeah, I don't like when that happens. So. Eat your breakfast, kids. Now this one I feel is a bit controversial, but this is just my personal opinion, but really, don't stress too much about your grades. I know that, I mean, you may want to get into a good college or whatever you want to do after high school, but don't let them stress you out to the point where it's really, really, really messing with your mental health because if there's definitely one thing that I learned in school or in my short 19 years of life is that your mental health has to come before everything even if you think it's not supposed to or society is telling you that you should have good grades or you're going to be a failure in life just don't let that bother you grades are only a letter and they will not define you for your entire life 
get enough sleep. Sleep, you guys. I know that's probably one of the hardest things to do as a student, but you have to get sleep. You just feel better when you have enough sleep and you're more productive and your brain works better when you've had enough sleep. So make sure that you get at least like seven hours of sleep, I'd say. Just get that sleep. It's for the mental health. Join clubs, get involved in school. That's something that I wish I could have gone back and done when I was in school is join more clubs. There are so many clubs that I wanted to join but I had so much anxiety and I, and I just I was so nervous about them that I didn't. I was only really a part of one club I think when I was in high school and that was German club because I took German while I was in high school. Favorite class ever by the way. I miss that teacher so much. It was such a fun class and we had so many fun um, projects and opportunities. It was just it was a great class but definitely get involved in clubs. If there's a club there you're interested in just try not to be afraid to meet people and just go out there even if some of your friends aren't in the club just if you want to do it go try to stay organized in school it will help you so much and that kind of correlates with um, having like a plan or agenda because those help you stay organized I suggest like folders and um, a what is it called a ring hole punch a hole puncher for your paper get those so some of the paper that you get doesn't have holes already punched into it so you can do that and put them in a folder or a binder so you won't lose them um, make sure your backpack is clean and organized as well as your locker because a clean backpack and locker equals a clean mind this is also something that I had a lot of trouble with because of my anxiety but don't be afraid to ask your teachers for help I feel I would have done a lot better in school if I would have just asked my teachers for help but I was just so anxious about ever doing that and I never wanted to s just really talk to them unless it, I was really comfortable with the teacher and a lot of my teachers I weren't that comfortable with so I had never really asked them questions about my work or anything like that so I either just didn't do it or I didn't turn it in and that really hurt my grades and yeah so don't be afraid to ask your teachers for help if you need it. And then again with the mental health um, thing, school, I just feel that school just really messes with your mental health, at least it did with mine, and you really have to be careful with what you do. But if you're feeling really stressed and you just feel that school is taking a huge toll on your mental health, just take a break. Don't be afraid to just take a little break every once in a while and just kind of clean your mind, just kind of chill a little bit, and then once you feel like you're good again, you can get back on track. So there you go guys, that was 10 pieces of advice for going back to school. I hope you guys liked it and I hope that it really helps you guys because I know school can be tough and it sucks a lot. But thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below what's your favorite subject in school. And don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already because I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday here on my channel. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.